Hey everyone, I'm Sly, here with Flo, and let's check out what Matt Mayoko said about Debo Samuel. So in terms of Debo, we're, what's the, is there a date that we should be looking at? Uh, uh, camp, uh, middle of camp? I mean, where do you think this will get a little more clarity from where we're at with him? We just had John Lynch on, and it sounded very much like he, you know, just getting the tone of his voice, I asked him, the chances of him signing Debo, yes, questionable, probable, doubtful. He said yes in his turn, in his mind. So obviously he uh -huh. wants to get this done. He he really likes the way Debo plays. He knows what he means to the team. Uh, I guess the hope for 49er fans and 49ers is Debo feels the same way because then if two people want to get something done, you'll figure out a way to get it done. But when 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 do you think we'll get any more clarity? Is it, hey, they didn't trade him during the draft. He's here. He's going to have to make it work, and he's going to have to figure out whether he wants to lose money, lose a year of service time, all that stuff. Where are we with this? Yeah, well, I, I think the first deadline, if you will, or the first um, date where we got some clarity was Thursday. When Thursday yep. came and went and they didn't trade him, that told you right there that he's not going anywhere, and he doesn't have – the leverage because and he's scheduled to make $4 million this season. You know, 49ers don't want him to play for $4 million. Clearly he doesn't want to play for $4 million. No, nobody wants yep. that. The next date would be the mandatory minicamp. All these off season workouts are voluntary. When the mandatory minicamp rolls around in the middle of June, now if he doesn't show up, that costs him money fine money, money that he has to take out of his pocket and give to the 49ers or is deducted later on, whatever the case may be. And so that would run him about $90,000, a little bit more than $90,000 if he fails to show up for that. And then after that, if he still doesn't show up for that, then it's training camp. And that's when it gets really expensive. With the new CBA, uh, he would lose $40,000 a day, I believe Ooh. the number is, if he doesn't show up. And so that's why you've seen in recent years, uh, since the new CBA went in a couple of years ago, the holdout is basically no longer a thing. Now it's the hold in. So guys show up yep. so they don't get fined. And then they say, oh, I have this hangnail. Bad back. I can't go well, out there. But yeah, sore. bad back. <laughs> Horrible. Oh, my gosh. So what? I just signed a new contract. Hey, the back is feeling a lot <laughs> better. So much so relief. Be, yeah, and so that would be what I think. But I think the goal for the 49ers is is to get him under contract before training camp starts. And it won't be much longer or much more before, um, you know, there won't be a – it's not happening today or tomorrow. I, I don't think so. Uh, but it's going to be something that's going to take a little bit of time. The, the question is, though, you know, how much is, is Debo Samuel kind of – going to dig in and i just don't see the logic in him digging in because he's a professional football player professional football players uh they want to get paid for their services and if he's not with the 49ers if he doesn't show up yeah he's not getting paid and in fact it's money's coming out of his pocket so i think I'd be surprised if they don't make this work. Hey, and we've talked about this before. Kyle Shanahan has a very good relationship with Debo Samuels. Never had any issues with him whatsoever. In fact, it's it's been the other way. I mean, it's been a really good rapport. I think Kyle probably figures that Debo Samuel is probably the the player that he's had the the tightest relationship with of of any player he's ever coached. But even even those two have gone silent here for the last couple of weeks. But I would suspect at some point, once Debo realizes for sure that he's he's not going anywhere, that uh, the trade offers the 49ers got for him on Thursday, really, or even the days leading up to that, weren't really anything that they even seriously consider. Once there's no other recourse uh, for both sides, then they'll get together and, and work that thing out. All right, Flo, after hearing that, what do you think about the whole situation, man? 
Yeah, man, freaking, I feel a lot better now. We we're freaking kind of sweating for the last few months uh, about not trading Debo, and we got what we wished for. But I think for the most part, Debo's coming around to it, man. I know he liked one of the fans saying that Debo Samuel's not going anywhere, and then Debo liked that comment himself. Yeah, um, also, John Lynch has said that he doesn't see Debo Samuel leaving anywhere. So all the signs uh, as of recent show that Debo's going to be with us for a while. So I'm really stoked. But what do you think, man? Honestly, I think it was the writing was on the wall. When we didn't trade Debo Samuel, I pretty much knew he wasn't going anywhere. You know, like you heard some comments, I think, from 49er Web Zone saying Debo still wanted to be traded. But that turned out to be completely bullshit. And... Honestly, it's it's just the truth. Like it's common sense. You don't freaking trade players after the freaking draft. It doesn't happen unless you're the Oakland Raiders who traded Khalil Mack. They didn't know what draft pick they got. They got screwed because they freaking didn't do shit after that. They got Clinton Farrell and all these BS picks. So I mean, we're not gonna do that. John Lynch ain't as dumb as Matt Mayock, Matt Mayock and John Gruden. So pretty much he's gonna stay with us. He's he's on the last year of his contract. There's nothing much he could do. Debo pretty much knows that he's gonna stay now. And like you said, he knows that he's gonna get paid too. Cause he uh what did John Lynch say also on KNBR that they want to iron things out? And you know, Debo Samuel pretty much liked that. So it's going to happen. He's going to stay. We all know he's going to stay. So after the draft, I pretty much knew I ain't tripping because this guy is going to be with us for a while. Yeah, I knew as long as we held out and we waited, were patient, that he would end up staying with us for a while. And I knew he doesn't really want to leave, man. He freaking gets a run in a Kyle Shanahan the offense, who's just freaking like a offensive wizard. But I do know Debo wanted to get paid. So obviously he was playing a little bit hardball. But now I feel chips are back in our hands. So I feel a lot better. Yeah, man. Honestly, we know exactly once AJ Green got AJ Brown, excuse me, got his contract extension. We knew pretty much what the numbers are going to be between twenty five, twenty six million dollars, and the 49ers are comfortable with that. You know, they they have like I said, they have Debo Samuel for one more year, which is about I believe three million dollars, a little over three million dollars. Plus, you add that twenty five, twenty six million dollars the rest of the way. Parag is going to do a, uh, something where it's going to average out to about twenty twenty one point five million dollars. So the 49ers are fine. They saved up for that. We didn't get anybody in the free agency, pretty much, other than Chavarius Ward. We let other guys walk. So I think they knew in the long run what the situation was. Debo Samuel got a little impatient, obviously, but he knows what the situation now. So I think we're good now, man. And also, one more thing before we go. We've been saying it all along. Everyone was getting nervous. We stuck to our guns. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm pretty proud of myself. Flo, you should be proud of yourself, too, because we stuck to our freaking guns. What was going to happen? You know, we didn't want to get rid of Superstar. We didn't want another T.O. situation. Now, just imagine, guys. Trey Lance, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, George Kittle. Then we got the rookie receivers coming in. We got Elijah Mitchell in the backfield. This is it, baby. Let's go 49ers all day. Let's go, guys. Quest for six. Here we go. It starts now. But you guys, let us know in the comments what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.